Hi everybody, welcome to the OAG RC. Um, I've been sent a care package from my good friend Dom at Dom RC UK. Go check Dom out, he's awesome. Um, and I thought I would share with you guys what is inside this great big whacking box. I don't quite know how I'm going to unbox it because it's too big for the desk. But I'll tell you what, I'll put the camera down, get everything out on the desktop. And we'll see what we've got inside the box. Right, let's see what we've got inside that box. So, oh wow, right. So, let's kicking us off, we've got what looks to me to be, if I can get it on there, a Unimog chassis. Oh, sorry, a Unimog body. So, I think that means. And I can see it now. What we've got in here is a Tamiya. Oh my gosh, it's really heavy. There we go. Look at this. How cool is that? Dom sent me his CCO1 chassis with his awesome Defender body on it as well. Um, there's also in here a transmitter there. And it looks like the other three tires and wheels that go with the one that's on the front there. Don, that is awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. We've been chatting about me getting into doing a little bit of trialing and uh, sorry trial running um and also maybe a bit of light crawling and dom's been saying to me oh get one get one get one i've said yeah i don't really know what to do i don't really want to get and he said i'll tell you what i'll send you my cco one have a play about with it say you get on with it and we'll go from there and um he's got me hooked right up here to get into this you know different aspect of RC that I've not really had a chance to play about with before. Now, um, I will probably run it with this Unimog one on to start with um, because I'm worried about wrecking that awesome body shot. Look at the state of this. I mean, that is... Dom must have spent hours building this thing. Um, and the last thing I want to do is roll it on the first time out and wreck it. Um, so we've got this Unimog one we can play about with to start with. Right, let's have a look, let's get the body shaft and have a look inside. Right, I've got rid of the body shells for a minute so we can see what we've got inside. We've got a Savox servo in there. We've got um, HPI 35 tooth um, motor. And it looks to me like some sort of HPI ESC in there as well. There, which I think, looking at it, is a a crawler one as well so Dom's also sent me all the instructions of how everything's supposed to work as well so I've really got quite a lot of stuff here to read now what he's told me is that he wants me to have a look at this and see if I can get myself into it which you know I'm impressed I was expecting these to be a lot smaller actually and that's quite a bit of kit isn't it hey eh? I think we're going to get right into this. So, what I'm going to do is power it up and uh, go have a little play and see what happens to it when I turn it on. Right, we've got some life. First thing that's immediately clear to me is it's a lot more slower to control than anything I've used before. Oh, but still seems to, if you want to go, it still seems to have a bit of go to it as well. So this is going to take some getting used to, I think. All right, I'm going to have a little play with it on the floor and I'll let you know what I think. So, it's dark outside. I just did a quick little lap out because it's still quite cold. And it is awesome fun. Completely different to the buggies or the other RCs that I've used in the past. But do you know what? I think I can really get into this. It's quite chilled. It goes quite slowly. It takes the bumps pretty well. Um, yeah, I reckon 
we can get on board with this a little bit. So what I'm going to do next, <clears throat> I'm going to give it a bit of a clean. Not too much though, because it's going to get mucky, because that's the whole point of these things, isn't it? And then we're going to take it up on the Orchard Raceway. Now we're, we're in the off season at the minute, so it's full of leaves and the bug house fell down. And maybe we'll just go and putz about with it up there for a couple of hours drive over some stuff and see what this can do and I've already noticed that or I've already seen should I say let's turn it off a minute that there are mo loads of mods you can get for these <clears throat> I'm starting to think that I might do a couple of mods first one I might do is extend the travel in the rear suspension so it allows you to sort of crawl a little bit better over things um and i think you can pick up like a an extension kit for the rear suspension set so i'm going to look into that as a first modification um it's probably i mean the 35 it's probably fine if you're going to go out and do some some trails with it um but for if i'm going to do any sort of crawling i probably want to drop that motor down a little bit but we can play around with that as we go don't need to worry about that right now um the servo is pretty good in it. And yeah, I'm quite impressed, actually. I wasn't sure I was going to like these. I don't know why. Um, because I like any RC, really. Um, but I've been so much into sort of the buggies and, and driving the buggies around that I was worried that I might find this a bit more too pedestrian. But maybe it's just my old age and maybe that appeals to me being an old age gamer. So let's get this cleaned up next. We'll have a proper play with it. Dom, thank you so much for putting this out for me to have a play with. I I really like it, mate. And, and you know, let's see what little hop-ups we can do. It's got a rear, the rear, I forgot to say, the rear diff in this is locked. But the front one is, is loose. Um, so maybe we'll lock up that. I've just shot bits of gravel all over my worktop. Um... Maybe we'll lock up the front diff as well if we're going to do a bit of crawling with it. Um, and yeah, let's see how we get on. Dom's got loads of crawlers. So maybe I'll get this sort of set up a little bit and uh, we'll go out and have a little bit of a collab. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, the other boys will be up for that as well. Right, guys. Thanks ever so much. There you go. Just a real quick video. Massive shout out for Dom. Um, I'll put a link to his channel uh, down below. And um, yeah, let's do some crawling. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Bye.